Hello, everyone. My name is Walter White. I teach chemistry in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Peter Rose is a close friend of mine, but sadly, Peter cannot join us today. So he asked me to replace him and cook up a nice mini lecture. I've got two sidekicks who helped me out today, Donald and Joe. They should join us any second. By the way, Rush, can everyone in the basement hear me loud and clear? Okay, I see thumbs up from Hush, so let's continue. Hello, Walter. Hey, Donald. Good to see you again. I know you like fluid mechanics, but deep down, you prefer construction, don't you? Let me tell you, Walter, nobody does construction better than me. And when it comes to getting the job done, I always turn to my guy, Garrett Snelling. Ah, Joe has also arrived. What's up, Joe? Working from home today? Joe, you're muted. Joe, Joe, Thank you're muted. Thank God he's muted. What a total loser. Oh, hello, Walter. Yes, today I'm in the White House. My White House. Bullshit. The White House is mine. Come on, Donald. Keep it civil. Try to behave as a civil engineer. Anyway, Walter, as I said, I just had an online meeting with my speechwriter. Really is a great guy. His name is, um... Uh, Listen, folks. Sleepy Joe cannot even remember his speechwriter's name. What a total loser. No, Donald. I do remember his name. Chat. Chat something. Chat GPT or something like that. Anyway, great guy. He writes all my speeches. Oh, God. Well, Donald. Peter sent you the PowerPoint. Pay you please share your screen. Believe me, folks. Nobody hates sharing more than me. It's true, it's true, but I guess we can give it a shot. Here we go. Share. Oops, wrong window. Oh my God, this can't be true. Yes, this is the right screen. Back to you, Walter. Ah, uh, that looks better. First of all, hydrostatics is the branch of physics dealing with forces in water at rest. Doubled. Can you give us some examples? We've got the Hoover Dam near Vegas. We've got these locks in Canada. And what about the amazing Maasland gearing in the Netherlands? Thanks, Donald. Well, Joe, time for a multiple choice question. Pressure applied anywhere in the fluid is transmitted equally in all directions. Whose law is this, Joe? Joe? Sleepy Joe must have fallen asleep again, folks. And let me tell you... That's not what we need in the leader. Uh, uh, uh. Well, Joe, is it A. Bernoulli, B. Pascal, or C. Heisenberg? Uh, 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 uh. Whose law is this, Joe? Say his name. Well, Walter, from what I can gather, it seems to me that Pascal's law might just be the answer we're looking for. So it's B. Pascal. Joe, that's correct. You're goddamn right. Let's now move to today's exercise. Next slide, please. Donald, you're gonna love this. We are going to build a wall. Really? I absolutely love walls. The wall has height H, length L, and it separates two compartments of depths H1 and H2. The wall acts as a gate with a hinge at the bottom. What the horizontal force F is needed to keep it in place. Let me tell you, Walter, I absolutely love this exercise. Building a wall and seeing a force that is directed to the right. We're making America great again, Walter. Come on, Donald. Let's keep it civil, please. So, who's going to solve this exercise? You, Donald? Uh, why not ask Joe? What about you, Joe? Uh, why not you, Walter? Well, let's do it together. This exercise is all about the hydrostatic forces acting on either side of the wall. More precisely, the hydrostatic moments about the hinge point. In equilibrium, these moments are balanced by the moment due to the external force, which is simply H times F. So, we have M1 plus M2 minus HF equals zero. And the minus sign is because the external moment acts in the clockwise direction. Right? Yes, Joe, that's correct. Then, to calculate the hydrostatic moments, M1 and M2, we must integrate the arm times gauge pressure across the entire gate. Importantly, we need gauge pressure here. 
because the entire system is open to the atmosphere, right? Indeed, good point again, Joe. So, with the local arm coordinate set, expressions for gauge pressure, and the minus sign, we simply integrate from set is zero to H1 to find the following result. Joe? M1 equals minus 1 over 6 rho times G times L times H1 cubed. Indeed, Joe. And we get a similar result for M2. But now with the plus sign. And if we then substitute these expressions, we can solve for the unknown force F. Can't we, Donald? Well, Walter, you do the math, I do the math. F is rho times G times L times H2 cubed minus H1 cubed divided by 6 times H. Capital H. Don't forget, capital H. Ha, Donald, you like the capital, don't you? Anyway, if you know the numbers, you simply substitute them to find the force in Newton. Indeed, Joe and Donald, and this completes our mini-lecture. We've talked about hydrostatics, Pascal's law, and we solved an exercise. Before we turn back to Kuss and the elections, I'd like to thank my two sidekicks. Thank you, Joe. No, no, Walter. The pleasure was totally mine. And also thanks to you, Donald. Any final remarks from your side about these elections? Well, Walter, I have a feeling, a strong feeling, that election fraud is already being committed. It's happening right now, folks. The fake news media won't talk about it, but mark my words, they're trying to steal the election from us. I assure you, folks, we won't let them get away with it. You're goddamn right.